Well, the day after Valentine's and some couples are still in a love glow, but for others it's a stark reminder that all isn't well in their relationship. Lawyers say it's increasingly common for married couples to trial a separation, a last-ditch attempt to save a marriage. But does it work? Let's ask the Managing Director of HHG Legal Group, Simon Creek. Good afternoon, Simon. Good afternoon. What exactly is a trial separation? Look, great question. Um, I think we could start by saying what it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be uh, prolonging the agony. Um, instead, it needs to be, if you're going to use it properly, a well thought out plan with an agreed goal and some rules as well. If you haven't got those rules, it's all going to go badly. Yeah. In your experience as a family lawyer, do they work? They really can if the need is for space, if the need is for um, therapy individually and as a couple, but outside of, I guess, the, the pressure of the actual um, everyday marriage situation or de facto situation. And as long as you really do have that agreed goal, you really want the relationship to work, but you need a bit of space to help it along. All right, what are the pros and the cons of a trial separation? I think the biggest advantage is literally getting out of the pressure cooker. Mm. You're able to sit down, have some time alone, spend time with your own counsellor or therapist working on your own problems um, and not necessarily having to come home every day to what might by then be a bit of a rut, a bit of a cycle of arguing and pressure and, and other things. On, a, on the downside, unfortunately not enough couples have good rules <laughs> and it can, can end up being a bit of a dating scene which is never going to assist a trial separation mm. to achieve its goal. If a trial doesn't work, what legal implications does it have on the divorce process? Fortunately not much. If anything, there's space there to encourage trial separations. Um, all I can really say without boring everyone with the detail is that if you're worried about your legal rights and remedies being prejudiced by a trial separation, don't be. Give them a go. It may well work for you and it could save you a whole pile of pain. Alright, Simon Craig, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for your advice this afternoon. My pleasure.